demonstration, please be sure that all children are safely behind the railing. During the program, we will be sharing some he is. information about our sea lions. Oh, he can swim, and maybe? I don't know. Exciting yeah. Oh, he can, he can swim. He's just hungry. Exhibit, we will see sea lions in many shapes and sizes. But the both male and female sea lions are easy to tell apart. Males, called bulls, can weigh over 700 pounds. Females are called cows, and they weigh less than half as much as a male, about 200 to 300 pounds. The largest sea lion in the exhibit is our bull. You can tell because he has a sagittal crest on the top of his head. Over there, man. weighs over 600 pounds. He also has a freeze brand that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service used to identify him when he was being monitored in the wild. You can find information about the Bonneville Dam sea lions by visiting the U.S. Fish and Wildlife website, fws.gov. Sea lions can be found around the world from the tropics to both poles. These are California sea lions, which specifically live along oh, she's taking the Pacific care of her. coast, from British Columbia to Mexico, and around the Galapagos Islands. Sea lions belong to a group of animals called pinnipeds. The word pinniped means wing-footed and refers to their flippers. This group includes walruses, true seals, and eared seals. Sea lions are in the eared seal family. Most people know what a walrus is. That is so cute. But it's very common for people to want to pet him, right? Yeah. Want to pet her? Do you know how to tell the difference between true seals and eared seals? Here are a few hints on how you can tell them apart. That looks really tasty. Now I want some fish. They have small external yeah. ears called pinnae. These are the small flaps of skin you see on the sides of their heads. You won't see these on seals. Sea lions have long front flippers, which they use to pull themselves through the water just as we use our arms to swim. Sea lions are also able to rotate their back flippers under their bodies in order to walk on land. 